going on everybody out there this is popular stranger and we are back at you again today with another madden 24 ultimate team video we just saw another market crash due to part two of the all madden promo and in today's video we're going to go over a bunch of cards that are down in price right now that will instantly improve and upgrade your mutt squad so this is something that i really want you guys to pay attention to for any content drop whether it's mondays for aka wednesday for team of the week of course thursday we always get the big promo saturday Saturday legends when new cards come out people like myself content creators people who spend a lot of money competitive players pro players people who want to be the top the best at the game and have all the latest greatest cards we overpay for these cards and what happens is cards at those same positions usually drop in price despite them still being very good very usable and very relevant and it's a great opportunity if you're no money spent little money spent playing on a budget to pick up really good cards at a discount and yesterday was a really good example if you would have did it yesterday if you would have purchased some of the cards we're going to talk about in today's video you probably could have got could have got them cheaper than they are today but they're still at a really good price we'll go over all of them but i'm really going to focus on positions in this video for example, Greg Olson, William Refrigerator Perry, Ricky Williams, Champ Bailey, probably the four best cards that came out yesterday, excluding Brian Dawkins, LTD, and of course, Warren Moon. All the players at these positions, corner, halfback, defensive tackle, tight end, that are 91 or 90 or even 89 OVR dropped in price because of these shiny new items. And there's not that much separation between these cards and the cards that came out before them at these positions. So these are things, right? With tomorrow being legends, we know we're getting a strong safety Pat Tillman. They just revealed that one. The other cards will be revealed at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Tomorrow would be a good idea. Now, this card doesn't have high man coverage, so I don't think he's going to be the best at his position. But tomorrow would be a good idea to look at strong safeties on the market to see if maybe some of those drop in price. So if there was a player at that position that you've been wanting, you want to check that auction house actively tomorrow for that position or for that card. And one other thing before we go over some of the cards that you can be buying right now, these higher end items that we're not going to mention specifically in this video, cards that came out today, the Legend Saturday, AKAs and Team of the Weeks, this upcoming Monday and Wednesday, we got a brand new comp pass on the way, we got season three on the way, we are likely getting 92 OVRs to start out the Harvest promo on Thursday, a week from yesterday. So even these cards like Brian Dawkins, Warren Moon, over a million coins right now, they are probably going to be a lot cheaper a week later. So don't feel like you have to rush to buy them right now. If you can get by with some of these budget options or the cards on your team currently, you can save yourself a lot of coin in the long run just kind of getting into those habits. Let's talk about some players again. We're going to focus on positional groups with Warren Moon coming out yesterday. Probably the best quarterback in the game now. Here are some QBs that you can pick up at a discount. I think the best quarterback price factored in probably is still going to be most feared Lamar Jackson. 90 OVR, 91 speed. He's got really good throw power. Short throw, mid throw, both 90 as well. Deep throw accuracy, only 86. He has a good release. The deep throws down the field didn't seem to be a problem when I used him. And I think the perfect setup for this card is Gunslinger plus Gift Wrap. On average, he's going for about 310,000 coins currently. If you take a look at these prices on mutt.gg today, it says he's down about 3 to 4%. And like I said in the intro, a lot of these cards were even cheaper yesterday if you jumped on this right away. So get into that habit of checking for things like this. The other one I want to mention is more of a personal favorite to me, but if you're looking for a quarterback, I'd recommend trying out this Team of the Week Will Levis. I really like this rookie premier card. I really like this Team of the Week card. I mean, I have almost 8 million coins, a 90 OVR team. This is still my QB1, even though I could afford guys that are probably a little bit better attribute-wise and cost a lot more coin. Only 270 k for this card. I like him because he has a good combination of speed, which I didn't really expect when the card came out. I was surprised prize they gave him 89 speed but he's got the 91 throw power accuracies aren't as good as Lamar but he's still been pretty good with them and I feel like with his slinger one release plus the gunslinger ability and I do also rock gift wrap on him I just feel like he gets the ball out quick even when you're getting blitzed even when pressure's in your face he will miss a throw from time to time but for 270k and it actually says he's 249k on Xbox he's down about 10% from yesterday this to me is a really really good budget quarterback if if you're maybe tired of that free Justin Fields. At running back yesterday, we got Ricky Williams, one of a few 92 speed running backs right now. 
I've used that card. I'm not a big fan. Now, if you wanted to try out Kenneth Walker, he's roughly the same price as Ricky, but he is down in price. So the majority of the cards we're going to focus on in this video are going to be a lot cheaper, but at 540K, he's down 10% from Monday when he was out there, and that's because of Ricky Williams. So if you were looking for this card, now might be a good time to buy. You can wait, of course, and see if he gets a little bit cheaper. He does get Running Back Apprentice or Jukebox. Those would be my recommended abilities based on if you run a lot more than you pass or if you pass a lot more than you run but if you want a budget guy Elvin Kamara personally I think has performed and played better for me uh, than he than Ricky Williams and Kamara right now most feared card only 310,000 coins he's only at 91 speed but I don't think you're going to notice a huge difference between 91 and 92. Now, if, you know, Ricky Williams or K9 happen to be on a theme team you're rocking and you can get it to 93, 94, now we're talking a little separation. But I'm telling you, the difference between 91 and 92 speed is not going to be super noticeable on the field. And when you can save yourself two, 300,000 coins, go ahead and pick up this Elvin Kamara card. He does get running back apprentice. He's really good in the passing game. Good route runner, 85 catch. You probably are going to have gift wrap on your quarterback, but if you don't, he should be reliable catching the football, and he's very agile. I mean, he has the 88 break tackle. His spin and juke move are good as well. I like this card a lot. Now, at tight end, I was kind of surprised how much I like the Greg Olson card. It's pretty solid, but this definitely tanked the price on some really good options at that same position. Kyle Pitts, older card here, but still very viable in my opinion. Six foot six, 90 speed, 92 catch, 87 catch in traffic. The route running is good, short 90, mid 88. Run block stinks, so you don't want to call on him or depend on him for that. But overall, for 226,000 coins, and he's starting to go up in price. So I think he was closer, if not under 200,000 coins yesterday. Um, you might want to buy this card sooner rather than later before he continues to go up. He can get slot apprentice, which is good for like gun bunch and tight formations. He's not lined up on the line of scrimmage. He's going to get those additional hot routes, including the corners and the posts, which are great against man coverage. Donald Parham's another really good card. Six foot eight tight end with 89 speed. So a little bit slower than that Kyle Pitts card, but he can still get the job done. 90 short route running, 88 mid route running. His catch in traffic isn't amazing at 85, but he does have 90 catch and he's actually a little bit better of a run blocker. He's going to get some of those crazy catch animations because he's so tall. And at 290,000 coins right now, currently, he's down about 3%. Pretty much all of the 90 OVR most feared and Arcana players are down in price. So if there are any that you are looking for, go pick them up. And if you really want to go super budget option, aka Vernon Davis, only about 125,000 coins. He's down 10%. He was pretty solid while I used him on my No Money Spent squad. 88 speed. Again, we're getting a little bit slow here, but I still think 88 speed at the tight end position is very good. And the route running and the catching on this card are very good as well. Yesterday at defensive tackle, we got William the Refrigerator Perry, and he's probably the best DT in the game right now. There's three others that dropped in price and are certainly worth looking at. You might even want to get two of these three players I'm going to mention. The first one is Gilbert Brown, the Grave Digger aka card he once was the best dt in the game by the way all of these players can get inside stuff and that's the ability i would recommend on at least one of them you can go double up and have two dts with inside stuff makes it really hard to run inside against with that combo but gilbert brown 280,000 coins right now currently He's down about 5 to 9%, depending on what console you're on. I went ahead and picked him up for the squad. We might even have to get him on No Money Spent. John Randall has been surprisingly good. I added him to the No Money Spent team last weekend. Played some games with him during this week, and he really performed well. I paid about 300 k for him. He's down to 221 right now down 5%, and he also can get inside stuff. Uh, 81 speed, so he gives you some quickness there, but we really like the 92 block shed, the 90 power move, and the 89 finesse move. Really versatile. He's a lot lighter at 290 pounds than, you know, obviously Refrigerator Perry, Grave Digger, and also this Vita Vea, which if you watch my videos on a daily basis, you know how much I love this card, and he is even cheaper now, down 7% to about 125k. He's not going to give you the speed, but he does have 88 strength, 92 block shed, 85 finesse moves, or 85 power move, and you can see from these gameplay examples, he stops the run almost single-handedly. So any of those three guys, 
as long as you get one of them with inside stuff go ahead and throw them on your team and they're going to dominate and stop the run for you at cornerback yesterday we got champ bailey so naturally you want to look for other corners in the game especially those guys that are six foot tall or higher and have maybe 91 92 speed night train lane is one of them he's actually on the rise in price yesterday he was below or right at about 300,000 coins currently as of today being friday he's about 320k I'll be upfront and honest with you, this card hasn't been amazing. Sometimes he plays really well, sometimes he gets burnt and it drives me crazy. So this is a good one, could be an upgrade for a lot of you, but it's not like a top tier corner in my in my uh, opinion, just because of the gameplay that I've had with him on both my main team and no money spent. But 92 speed, six foot one, 92 man. I think he'd make better a, a slot defender uh, out of like a nickel or even a dollar if you're CB3 or four. He doesn't have good zone cover. It's not amazing, at least at 85. So if you run an all-time zone scheme or heavy zone scheme, you'll probably want to stay away from this card. Uh, Ken Riley, despite him only being 5'11", is really good. Again, with the way that I play, I would recommend him at CB number 3 or 4 so you can blitz him a lot and occasionally maybe mix in a man or a zone coverage. But he does have 92 speed, 92 man coverage, 90 zone, 90 press as well. Just super well balanced. He's down about 8% currently, down to about 350k another trend that i noticed is that the release number one all madden cards dropped in price yesterday when the release two cards came out even though some of them are at different positions but with champ and riley being the same position i think you saw a lot of people get rid of riley because he's 511 and champs over six foot and they have the same speed and pretty identical coverage you know with the zone and the man coverage but riley is pretty solid for me and to me the best corner in the game right now or at least the one that's performed the best has been this aka sauce gardener i definitely take a look and pick him up if you can afford it 450k but he is down about three percent and he's just made a ton of plays for me six foot three only 91 speed but i haven't noticed an issue with that at all 91 zone 91 man 90 press as well he's just been overall a goon and then we have the brian dawkins card that came out yesterday well over a million coins like too rich for my blood despite me having seven million coins and being an eagle fan i'm still not paying that much because i think it'll be a lot cheaper next week when we get season three and the new competitive pass with harvest mix in there as well but like i said part one all madden cards have dropped in price and ronnie lott was one of them on november 7th and 8th he was over 500,000 coins as of today, he's about 450k on PlayStation and 410k on Xbox. If you're on Xbox, then you can get him for that price between about 410 and 420. I think you should hurry up and buy that one right now. 92 speed, 92 hit power, 91 zone, and 90 man. He can pretty much do it all. And if you need a zone coverage safety, you got Justin Simmons at the free safety position. Six foot two, 90 speed, 82 hit power, not great, but not terrible, and 91 zone. He only has 82 man coverage. Coverage. He does go for about 310k. Like I said, a lot of the 90 overall most feared card uh, cards are really down in price right now. He's down about 5%. You just have to stay away from putting him in any type of man coverage situation. So a lot of cards that we went over, a lot of cards you can buy right now, pick up, and instantly improve your squad. Let me know who you picked up over the last 48 hours down below in the comments section. And thank you guys for watching. My name is Popular Stranger, and I'm out. Peace.